wanted to talk about really quick getting more engagement. Increasing engagement is about using, especially with the new algorithms that are favoring video yeah. right now, all across the board, especially on Instagram. Um, there's some things you need to keep in mind. And a couple of those things are just to be yourself. You know, I have clients that will come and they, they, uh, they try too hard. It's kind of like the actor that you see in a movie or in a play that's just trying too hard. Just come on, be natural, get with it and be natural and be yep. yourself. That's the first thing. Be yourself. Don't try to be anything that you're not and get comfortable with being behind the camera. Uh, keep it simple. Don't get into large detail on things. If you're gonna do a video, if you're gonna do a reel, keep it quick. And, and the best way of learning how to do that is just do one because you'll find that you can't really talk a lot in one minute. Correct. <laughs> so if you're gonna do a reel and you've got 60 seconds, you've gotta think of one message. What is the message I wanna send today on this reel? It's gotta be simple. Telling stories. You know, getting out with your dog, going out on a hike, doing what you love, getting with your buddies on the golf course, going out and surfing, whatever, and get a little clip of that that mm -hmm. tells a story about who you're all, who you are, and what you're all about. That's super, super important. And then, of course, what we're talking about: keep it short. So you need to to focus on even if you're doing longer videos, two or three minutes are okay. If you're posting on YouTube, if you're posting inside Instagram, if you're doing lives on Instagram and Facebook, I think two and three minutes is okay to have those mixed in. But overall, you want to keep it short. No, do you? There's four ways that you can post on Instagram. You've got stories, reels, your feed, and live. Yep. And uh, getting consistent and having your tools and your system engaged is what's going to help you quickly get these kinds of things done. So if you have all your tools together, if you have all of your accounts connected, so that like today coming over here, I'm at a stoplight. I do a 60 second promo for the show. Mm -hmm. I flip it up really quick on Instagram, cross post it over to Facebook. I go onto my dashboard and I select all my accounts. Yeah. Boom, within two minutes, I have a video promoting this show yeah. on probably eight different networks. Yeah. Okay, you say, yeah, but you're a marketing person. Yeah, I've got my tools together. So if you want to do this, if you want to create more engagement in what you're doing on social, you got to think like a marketer mm -hmm. first to get this content out there. And then if you need help, then that's where I come in. You call me, sandyhibbardcreative.com. Do think that it's really important if you're a realtor, if you're a mortgage guy, if you're a title guy or a girl, you need to keep your content focused around that. So if I'm a realtor and I'm never talking about real estate or I'm never talking about homes or I'm never showing pictures of a house, I think that's confusing. And, but somewhere along the line, a realtor's got to talk about what they do, their product in a creative and you know cute, sassy way, whatever your personality is, like Brian's saying what he does on, on his thing, give somebody something to take back with them that helps them know, hey, this realtor just left me a really great tip Tremendous. that I'm gonna remember or that yeah. I'm gonna take action on or they told me about a new lending guy that I'm gonna check out his stuff. So it's yeah. all about uh, staying within the realm of your industry because after all, you want industry leads, right? So don't just be out there at the swimming pool looking all sexy girls, that's fine, but can you sell real estate, you know?